Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Warfare Bones tutorial. Today we are doing the M109A7 Paladin. This was a requested vehicle, um, and I'm kind of mixed feelings about this tank. I like it and dislike it at the same time. I like it for the fact of just how much detail I was able to put into it. I kind of dislike it because of the shape of the turret. I don't know, I'm torn. I also just don't like the rear because there wasn't a whole lot I could do to the rear that I could think of. Uh, but it was kind of an iffy tank, I don't know, you can make your own improvements, but I did what I could, and if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but, you know, this was the best I could do as far as this was concerned, there is no interior either, because even though I looked up interiors, well, I couldn't find any, especially because of the fact that this isn't supposed to be expected to, like, enter service till next year, so there's not really any images as far as interiors are concerned, and from what images I could find, I wasn't sure if they were from the actual tank itself or from another tank that just showed up in, you know, the images and on Google. I wasn't sure what else. I wasn't sure what was or what wasn't part of the tank. And if it was part of the tank, I wasn't sure where it was located in the tank. Like what part of the main body of it. But um as far as everything else is concerned, I do love the way the gun turned out. It is very similar to the one that Garrett 2x4 did. I actually didn't realize that till after I made the gun, but Honestly, it is the best design that you can possibly make, uh, and, you know, I tried to do my best to not make mine identical to his. Uh, the tank, well, when I, comp I compared it to the width of the IS-4, I mean, uh, not IS-4, IS-3, excuse me, uh, because I would assume that this would be at least basically the same chassis as the M109, the original one, which... That one had seven wheels on like six, so there's a little bit of a difference there. But I'm not sure what else could be different. I'm not sure if the width of the if the width of the tank is any uh, skinnier than it used to be. But when I compared at least the M109 to the IS3, they were roughly about the same width. So I figured, okay, so I'll just make my M109A7 the same width as my IS3, which just has skinnier tracks. And I hate when I have to do tanks that have skinny tracks yet are seven blocks wide, or rather as I like to refer to it as heavy tank width. So that's about it. I mean, I just think it turned out pretty well and I personally enjoy it. I hope you do too. So here's just a little bit of uh, information I took down on it. So designed, couldn't find anything, manufactured, I'm not sure how long it's been manufactured, if it's meant being manufactured at all, uh, number built, I couldn't tell you anything. In service, again, it's expected for next year. The, the only real information I was able to get, not since I don't put down secondary armaments, which I may do at some point in the future, we only have the main armament here. The M126 105mm howitzer. That's a howitzer if I've ever seen one. And the origin was obviously in the United States of America. So, um, yeah, that's really the, all there is to the tank. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you can make your own interior, considering there is no interior. You can probably be able to figure out where, you know, hatches should be, like these doors on the side of the tank's turret are the like, hatches in. These hatches up here go in. Uh, and obviously right here where the gun is is a hatch. So, uh, and right here as well. But that's really about it. And, you know, you don't have to have the gun rest on if you don't want to. I personally put it on for the build itself because I just figured it looks nice. Maybe we can figure out a way to put it down uh, if you don't want it there. Or you can just figure that out yourself. But, um, yeah, without, like, saying anything more, let us get right into the tutorial. Alright, so for layer 1, we're going to want to have sandstone slab, sandstone stair, oak wood log, stone brick slab, stone button, stone slab, and stone brick stair. We're going to start from the right side of the tank, like we always do. We're going to start by placing a, um, a single sideways facing log, then across five blocks from it, we're going to do another one. Sure, no, that's three blocks. Five blocks. Alright, then what I want you to do is behind that, skip a space and then do another one on either side. And we're going to do that another four times. So skip space, one, skip space, one, skip space, one, skip space, one, and then we'll do that on the other side. Like that. And then in between all these gaps, we're just going to put a bottom slab of stone bricks, just like that, up till here. So only in between them, not on, not on the ends. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our stone brick stair, and we're going to do an upside down stair on the ends 
on the front and on the backs, uh, on the back of either side. Once you've done that, um, you can just take your sandstone slab and at the back, in between these logs, just do a row of five top slabs of sa uh, sandstone in between those. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what we're going to do is come up to the front and do it in between these, do a row of five in between these logs. Once you've done that, you can just fill up the whole inside part with stone slabs. Just like this. Come on. Fun fact, I originally designed this with seven wheels, because uh, I couldn't figure out how the heck, like, I couldn't figure out the exact number of wheels on the uh, tracks. So, uh, you have six there on our side. And I think that's about it for this layer. Just have to take our stone, oh, stone buttons and put it on the outsides of all of these wheels real quick. Like that. Once you've done that, we can now move on to layer two. So moving into layer two, what we're going to want to do is we're going to finish off our tracks first. On either side on the front, you're going to do an upright uh, stone brick stair like that. And behind it, do an upside down stone brick stair facing the, like, both of the backs of the stairs facing each other. Behind these stairs, do a top slab of stone brick. And then behind that, do a row of one, two, three, four, five, six bottom slabs of stone brick. Six right there. And then behind that, we're just going to do the same thing we did on the front. So top slab of stone brick right behind that. On the back, do an upright uh, stair of stone brick like that, back facing the front, and then do an upside down stair in front of that. Both backs facing each other like that. Then what we can do is we can take our smooth sandstone, do a smooth sandstone here and here, and then in the gap of three in between it, we're going to do a row of three oak wood logs and on the outside of those oak wood logs take some wood trap doors put them on the outside and just close them like that then we can just take our uh, sandstone run it along the side up to about there across the front and then back down the other side like that you can leave the you can leave the center open I guess if you choose to do an interior jump to the front once again we're going to take our sandstone stairs do a upside down sideways stair here and here on the front. Make sure that the backs of the stairs are facing, uh, you know, out left and right, not for, not facing each other. Then in the center, three blocks, just do another row of three upside down st uh, sandstone stairs and just curve it in like that so they all connect. And once you've done that, I think we may, yeah, we're done with this layer. So now we can move on to layer three. So moving on to layer three, we can just take our wooden trap door and starting at the back of the tank, Put a wooden trap door on the tops of these stone brick stairs, and that'll be the back fenders for the uh, tracks. Then what we can do is we can take our smooth sandstone, do two here on the left and two here on the right at the back, and then do another three oak wood planks on top of the previous three, and then behind those do another three uh, wooden trap doors and close them as well. Then we can take our smooth sandstone and run it up, and run it toward the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, just like that. So do eight toward the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember to do that down either side. And then what we can do is we can take our sandstone slabs and we can do a row of three coming forward. Like actually, no, just row of two coming forward. And then head over another row of two. And then on the third layer in, come forward one. And then come to the middle right there, just one. Then we can do two here, and then we can just do two there. So that's the design you want for your uh, sandstone slabs on the front. And then what we can do is we can just take our uh, oak wood slabs, do two slabs here, two slabs there. And I think that's about it for that part. Now we can just take a cobblestone slab, put a cobblestone slab there, grab our oak wood stairs, put a stair right here. Put a stair here, and then put a stair right there. Make sure these, the backs of these are facing each other on the front. And then we can just take a oak wood plank and put a plank right there in the middle of them. And that's really it for the front of the tank. Then we can take, for the extra little bit of detail, take our wooden buttons, 
and we're going to be putting wood buttons along the side right here where the gap of one in between starting from the front here on the first block. So one, skip one, two, three, four, five. Do that on the other side as well. One, two, three, four, five. And that should be, actually no, we have to cover this up. Cover that up to at least about here, I would say. So cover up th uh, three blocks in like this, three rows and all crossed. And that's about it for layer three, so now we can move on to layer four. So moving on to layer four, what we can do is we can take our wooden trapdoor and starting at the front, put two wooden trapdoors here, and put a wooden trapdoor right there as well. Take our stone buttons, put a button here, here, and here. And then we can take a placeholder and we're going to put a upside down oak wood stair right here above the previous one on the front for the gun support. Uh, make sure that the tops is, make sure that the top of the bottom one and the bottom of the top one are uh, touching each other like that. So that they'll like look more like the gun rest. Then we can take our uh, brown carpet, put three brown carpet there, and three brown carpet there I would say. Uh, yes, it does wrap around. brown. Once you've done that, now we can move on to basically the main part of the turret. So we'll start from the back and we'll work our way toward the front. So we'll start on the right side here. We'll do a row of two, we'll do a row of two heading toward the front to give a space of one, and then do another block. Then you can just run it across the back like this all the way. Come forward once, give a space, and do another one. Do an upside down stair in front of those with the backs of the stairs facing the back of the tank. Then curve them like this, curve them outward I'd say with the backs of these stairs facing each other. Then we can do a smooth sandstone diagonal toward the front from them, like that. Do one more crossed inward with a wooden trap door on the outsides of these. Close them. And then in the middle right here, we're just gonna do a sandstone stair right there. And once you've done that, now technically you do place it on this layer, so we'll do it anyway. Put a wooden door right here, make sure that the hinges are toward the front. Make sure, make sure of that on both sides, like that. And that is about it for layer four. So now we can move on to layer three. Starting from the back of the turret once again, we're going to do a row of two right here. Run it across like this. And then forward one, so that they both, like, they meet up with the door. Then in front of that, do one on either side. Grab a trap chest and a normal chest. Do a trap chest here, and then a normal chest in front of it. Same on the other side, normal chest, trap chest. Then we can take our sandstone stairs, put one here, one here. And then what we can do is we can just put another stair here and here, make sure that the backs are facing each other like that. Come back one with the stairs in toward the turret, and then put one right there in the middle. Actually, no, don't. Wait, we actually want to go, I didn't realize this until just now. Actually, we can put that right there break these, then actually place them right here instead. No, it doesn't look any different. It'll look different once we break that. You want the stairs to be curved like that. And then you want to put two smooth sandstone blocks right there in between them. Uh, once you've done that, I guess we'll work on the gun. Take our cobblestone wall and come forward off of this a smooth sandstone block. One, two, three, four. And then on the fifth one, which is going to be right above the gun rest, take our wooden trap door and on either side of this uh, wall, put a, uh, put a wooden trap door and just close it like that. And then in front of that, we can take our smooth sandstone, do two blocks of smooth sandstone, cobblestone wall, come forward, one, two. Take our sandstone stair, put a sandstone stair like that with the back facing the gun. Come forward, place a placeholder like that, place another one, make sure that the fronts of the stairs are facing each other like that. Come over here, we're gonna grab ourselves some signs. At the base of the gun, put on either side a blank sign here and here, and then right here on the where this one doesn't connect to the stairs, put a sign here and here, and that's it for the bottom of the for the bottom part of the gun. There's going to be a few minor details that go on on the next layer, but uh, we'll save. We'll we'll wait till then to do them. So back to the main part of the turret. Do two smooth sandstone blocks here, and two sandstone blocks there. And then once you've done that, you can come off the back uh, two two rows of seven like this. So that's really hanging off the back, and yeah, that looks about uh, real life accurate of what the shape of the turret would be anyway. 
once you've done that, I actually did miss this part from the last layer, but I, I guess it would be kind of odd to move into it since we weren't doing it. We, we didn't have the way of doing it in the last layer. You want to have two hovering wooden trap doors here on this side, so notice how they're not hinged to anything. Do that to the other side as well. Break those. That's what you want right there. Then we're going to, we're going to want to place a wooden trap door here and there. Make sure that when you place them, they open like that on either side as well. So there and there. Open them. And then we're going to take our wooden trap doors and we're going to place two on these ones that we just opened up and do that. We're going to make like little baskets coming off the sides of the uh, turret. They're basket-like, I should say. Um, oh, I actually missed a detail from the last layer. We should actually go back real quick, take our wooden buttons, put a wooden button here and here, and then here and here. Put what, uh, stone buttons, wait, that, was I saying wooden button? I meant to say stone button. Put two stone buttons here, and then two there, just for that little bit of extra detail. Wait, did I even place those right? No, I didn't. All right, yeah, if you want to move them out right next to the baskets. There, now they're in the right position. Hey, and I guess unless you're doing an interior, you can leave you can leave this all open. But we're just going to wall off from where the door is so that you don't really see a big gaping like spot on the inside of the turret. So that now that that's over, we can move on to let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, the sixth layer. Moving on to the sixth layer, what we're going to want to do is we'll, we'll finish up the gun first. We're going to take our wooden trap door, put one on top right here above the uh, gun rest, and that'll finish off the gun rest. We're going to grab, oh, I guess we already have it on us, ground carpet, and place it on the tops of these um, uh, uh, smooth sandstone blocks, and then two on the ends, uh, two on the end of the gun here on top of the stairs, and that'll finish off the uh, gun itself. So now we can move back to the main section of the turret. We can take our sandstone slab and put a slab right there, and a slab right over here. Then come backward diagonal and do a row of three right in here. Then we'll take our oak wood slab. We're going to do two slabs here on the right side of the turret. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our sandstone stairs, we're going to do a row of three right here, like that with the backs facing the back of the tank. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place a, uh, let me make sure where this is at. Okay. This is very confusing. Alright, so we actually don't want that to be a row of three. Just keep that to a row of two sandstone stairs. And then put a stair right there. So that's what we should have done. Okay. This is, the, I'm telling you, this is quite confusing how to do the uh, turret design put a smooth sandstone, I mean, just put a sandstone slab right there, put a smooth sandstone block right in front of this stair right here, on top, uh, no, that's good for the next layer, don't do that again. Um, then we can take our smooth sandstone, put two here, and I guess we can just run it across all the way to the other side of the turret like that, I suppose. Put a sandstone, come on, put a sandstone slab right there. And I guess this kind of chews into it a little bit, so actually just right... Uh, what the heck is up with the shape of this turret? Okay, I got the idea. So break these two blocks, place a stair right there, and a stair right there. That's how you want that little shaped area to be like. Then, literally, you can just take your smooth sandstone, uh, come toward the back like this, circle all around the turret, to the back, meet it up at the front, and then you can literally just fill in everything in right here. Now we can take our signs and just ar across the whole top row of the back of this turret, just do blank signs like this, just for that extra little bit of detail. Then we can take our iron bars, put an iron bar right here. Did I have one on the other side? Yes, I did. Put one right there. And I think that's about it for this layer. Oh, actually, no, I did miss. I did miss something. We actually want to take our brown carpet, put a brown carpet right here at the base of the gun, and then right behind that, a wooden trap door. Now we're done. 
Actually, no, we're not. We gotta put out a sandstone slab right there. Let me evaluate this real quick. Are we done now? Yes, we're done. Now we can move on to what you can say is basically the final layer. So now, starting off with layer 7, I, I think. I lost track, whatever. We're gonna place a uh, slab of sandstone right on top of here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sandstone stairs. We're gonna place an upside down sandstone stair right here. So it's one block backward from where these oak wood uh, slabs are. Behind that, we're going to place a wooden trap door with the hinge opening like this, opening and closing like that. And then we're going to put wooden trap doors all around this trap door. And open, uh, you know, open, I mean, uh, open or close them, whatever. Make sure that they kind of make like a little basket around it, like that. Then, right on either side of this stair, we're going to do a wooden trap door. And then make sure that it flips up toward the front, like that. On the front of those wooden trap doors, which are meant to be a shield, just put a sign, a blank sign. Then in front of the stair, we're going to take our oak wood fence gate, and we're just going to go forward one, two, like that, and I'll finish off the 50 caliber machine gun. I believe it's 50 caliber, if I remember the chart correctly. Then we can take our brown carpet, do two brown carpet right here, two right there. I think it's two right there. And two right there, if I remember correctly. Yes, okay. Then we can take our wooden trap doors, do two, two wooden trap doors right there for the top hatches, make sure they open like that and close. And I think that's about it for that layer. Now we can move on to what is basically the final part, just the extra little bit of detail. Take our spruce fence gate, and on the left side of the turret, on top of this iron bar, stack up one uh, and two spruce wood uh, posts. Then we can take our iron bars right here, stack up one, two, three, four. Same on the other side, one, two, three, four. And that is it for the M109A7 Paladin. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you can make something good out of this, at least with an interior. Hopefully when this thing enters service, we can, uh, you know, you can get a good interior. And um, please be sure to follow me on Twitter as well. And if you ever make a good interior, um, please feel free to sh like show me some photos of what you've done on, on Twitter, send them to me, or whatever. Uh, same goes for Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you all for watching. If you have any requests, please, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will be sure to look at them. And if I have not already built the tank, I will get to it. And it doesn't even have to be a tank, it can be some sort of vehicle, and if, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. Just, if you have a request, uh, just no, like, actual, like, buildings or anything like that. No skyscrapers or anything like that. That's off my list. But, uh, mainly vehicles. So let's just stick with vehicles. If you have a vehicle request, please feel free to leave it in the comment, and I will be sure to look at it and get to it at some point in the future. Well, other than that, have a good night, and I will see you all next time. Keep on tanking. Goodbye.